Hello, Eel fans. My poem for this beautiful little anthology took as its inspiration the migration of the European eel, which travels all the way from the Sargasso Sea in the Caribbean right the way over to the streams and fields and pools of Northern Europe. And one theory to explain the eel's extraordinary migration is that the species actually began this journey when the continents were closer together. And as the plates have shifted and drifted apart, so the distance has increased. So I wanted to find a way of trying to reflect this somehow in the form of the poem. And so what I've done is I've written the poem in two columns. And the idea is that this column here is the eel when it's in the Sargasso Sea. And this po column here is the eel when it's in Northern Europe. And the poem can be read down this way like this, down this way like this and also across like this. That's the idea anyway. We'll see how it goes. So this is tectonics. It's surprising how accustomed to the continents one becomes, the way things are. Folds of kelp, the taste of salt diffusing through the skin. The vastness of the open sea, the weight of it, it surges and rips, like memory, holding us to here, now, where we begin. Our bodies have grown, the distances we slip between a memory, lost in still grey pools, fields slick with rain. In mud we feel a sense of home, working its way in. The depth of it. There is nothing else. This place, we know, is where we will end. It's surprising how our bodies have grown accustomed to the distances, the continents we slip between. One becomes a memory, the way things are lost in folds of kelp, still grey pools, the taste of salt, Fields slick with rain, diffusing through the skin. In mud we feel the vastness of the open sea, a sense of home, the weight of it, working its way in. It surges and rips, the depth of it, like memory. There is nothing else holding us to this place here now. We know where we begin is where we will end.